Welcome to geometry class. Let's talk about triangle congruence by angle side angle. Triangle congruence by angle side angle. Before going forward on this, I'd just like to suggest that if you remember the rules from side angle side and how we read that acronym, the SAS, you could probably figure out the rule angle side angle just by looking at the way it's written. It's no coincidence that the S is found between the two A's. Let's take a look at the postulate itself. It says if two angles and the included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles and the included side of another triangle, and the two triangles are congruent. Notice that we have to be talking about the included side. If we're talking about the side that's outside of the angles, that is a non-included side, then the rule's not going to work. Let's take a look at a quick example. Here we have two triangles, and there's some information shown about them. We can see on the triangle on the left, we have a side here that's congruent to a side over here on the triangle on the right. And we also have two angles that are congruent here to two angles over here. Notice that the side is the included side, that it's the, it's the side between the two known angles. And that's important. So we can conclude that these two triangles are congruent by angle side angle. Let's take a look at another example. Here again in this example we have two triangles and we have some information known about both of them. Notice there are no congruent marks, congruence marks. Instead, we have actual values here. So we see there's a 23 here and a 23 down here. And of course, that in this triangle, the 23 is formed by this leg and this leg. These two sides form that 23 degree angle. And over here, we have a 23 degree angle here. We have a 125 degree angle and a 125 degree angle. So far, we have two angles in one triangle, which are congruent to two angles in a second triangle. And then notice the 18. That's the length of this side here. And this 18 is the length of this side over here. Notice we have an included side that is congruent. And so again, by angle side angle, we have two congruent triangles. Let's look at one last example. All right, here again, we have some two triangles. We have some information that's been established. We have a 56 degree angle. And notice there's a 56 degree angle over here. And a 65 degree angle. And a 65 degree angle over here. So that, that's looking pretty good. We've got angle angle, right? Um, then notice we have a 14 here and a 14 here. In the triangle on the left, the 14 is an included side. But over here in the triangle on the right, it is not an included side. And therefore, we cannot conclude congruence between these two. The angle side angle rule will not work here. Nor again, by the way, will the side side side, because we don't know three sides and three sides. And nor again will the side angle side, because we don't have that information either. So there is no rule that we can use to safely determine the congruence of these two triangles. And therefore, we conclude that we simply don't know whether they're congruent. That is the angle side angle triangle congruence postulate. Uh, make sure you work through a couple problems. Make sure you're familiar with it. And as always, if you have any questions, shoot me an email.